new channel, Team Edge, but just gaming challenges. Subscribe now, link in the description below. Here it is, this is it. What is that, what is that right there? Gook. Oh! oh! Ah! Throw it away! Throw it away! <laughs> Throw it away! Hi, how's it going? My name is Matthias. Wow, isn't it? Just wow, you've never heard that name before. Oh. Guys, today we're gonna take a look at 10 tech gadgets that may waste your money. Brian went on Amazon, went on various places to find 10 tech gadgets that he thinks may be a big waste of money, but I'm gonna be the deciding factor if it's wasteful or tasteful. <laughs> Guys, make sure you click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile because I will be commenting back within the first 30 minutes of every video. Oh, ever! So if you missed it this time, make sure you click that bell to not miss it. See you next time. What is this? Okay, I'm not even gonna read the title. Block out the title. I'm gonna try and figure out what this is. Oh, it's a dash cam. Two inch mini car DVR camera recorder with perfume. What? <laughs> dash camera, yeah, vehicle. So this is like a DVR for your, you know, if you're prone to accidents. It's big in like Russia, China, cause all these people that just jump in front of cars to try and get fake lawsuits. You've never seen those compilation videos? Oh, that's crazy. Wow, dude, and the car's like not going that fast or something no, like that. No, literally like the driver sees a person and the person's running in front of the car. The car literally almost like stops and the person just flops onto the car and like, oh! Thirty-five day delivery? Wow, that's a steal! Thirty-five days ago, dude, I was a kid. I didn't even know what life was thirty-five days ago. <laughs> you notice something a little bit off here? What? What's your car doing on a cliff? And why are you watching this guy commit suicide off oh, the cliff? Was, he's running off of a cliff. He's just running. He's not running. I don't know, dude. It looks like he's about to jump off a cliff. There you go. That's accurate. Cause it's going down in the tunnel. All good delivery. Fast. Not yet tested working condition order for a gift. Lizard did not put shame. <laughs> okay, why do people write reviews before they test it? The guy has it and he still decided, hey, I'm gonna write the review before I test it. That's what I'm gonna do. And by the way, I haven't even tested it yet, but I'm only gonna give it four stars. You know why? Because the lizard didn't put shame. Camera came 25 days, well packed, installed. Everything works fine. Tested card in the photo. Thank you, seller. He did as I asked and lizard in gift, thank you. Am I missing something? Is there a free lizard with every purchase? Registar, pretty small, compact. In gift, put lizard and tablets in flavor. What are these people so obsessed with lizards? <laughs> Husband is disassembled. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Maybe you shouldn't put that so publicly on uh, your review, huh? Everything is fine, everything works. The seller put a gift, lizard sticker. Thank you, seller. That's what everybody was thanking for, a lizard sticker. A lizard sticker. If, I, if someone gives me a gift that's worthless just to promote fake value in buying their item, I'm ticked, usually. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want all this extra trash to throw away. I'd say that's tasteful. I think it'd probably work. Plus you get a free lizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way though, if you are here as a part of that notification squad, make sure you give this a thumbs up to prove you were here. Sometimes I live stream like for 15 minutes before uh, a new video goes live. So you're probably gonna want to see that. Yeah. That pig is spread eagle. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we even get into what the product is, why on earth is that pig just so accepting of whatever will come its way? It's just like, yes, put it all in me, baby. What? Quirky portfolio, smart piggy bank. Smart piggy bank. Because counting quarters is too hard. 25, 50, 72. Okay, so I have exp some experience with quirky products. They suck. They have the coolest ideas but they absolutely suck. Because I've bought quirky products before and you'll get them and then uh, like they're all smart products. So you like try to pair them with like a piece of, or your, your, like an app on your phone and it just doesn't work. Two out of, oh geez, all those one star reviews. Oh, big shock. Alerts are triggered by portfolio's built in accelerometer to protect your savings from shenanigans. Well, Porkfolio, was I saying Porkfolio? Yes, you were. Porkfolio, ooh, that gives me the shivers. Porkfolio is adult friendly. Ugh. Got the shivers again. 
It really shines when teaching the little ones. Please don't do that. Lil. Hey, yo, what up? I'm about to teach your little ones some responsibility and how to make a crappy product. The pig is a dog. Great concept, but poorly executed. Defective battery connection. Spent an hour on the phone with Wink support. Quirky website no longer supports port full. Yeah, that's what I had the issue too, dude. I You buy their products? and they immediately dropped support for it. Took forever to pair with the Wink app. Then I finally got it paired and thought it was all good. Then when I tried to subtract money in the app, it constantly got a 500 internal error. Big shock. OMG, please don't buy this POS. Worthless, other than being able to use it like any other piggy bank on the market. App doesn't work, doesn't link to it. Also stopped working after about three weeks. This was a gift for someone and she loved it. It's easy to use. And there's also builds. Okay, I don't believe you because you gave a positive review. Here's what's up. I want to prove to you guys that it sucks. Add to cart. Okay, so here we go. 850. I'm filthy rich. Oh, what? Dig for gold? Ew, dude. How classy. I just pulled the tab, it's starting to blink, and now I connect it with my phone, I guess. We do know the batteries are working, so that's a plus. Why is this all beat up? This must have been returned like eight times or something. When you see the countdown start, place the screen of your phone on all the way up against the portfolio's nose. It's like connecting by sending a light signal through the pig's nose. Connecting your device, this may take up to two minutes. Haven't these people ever heard of Bluetooth? If your device is blinking red or green, it is still connecting. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever, dude. Your quirky portfolio is not connecting. We can help at 844-WINK-APP or wink.com. what you do when you make garbage products, Quirky. Dissolve your company. Now, you have 12 hours. <laughs>《TG Solar Charger Solar Powered Backup Battery 1500 Milliamps》. Okay, what's so special about this, Brian? Why did you put this in the list right now? It's a solar powered battery charger. How long would it take to charge? Just here. just set out in the sun for two weeks, and you'll have a full charge. <laughs> it's got three stars, though. How bad could it be? Portable battery charger. Charge via solar power up to 50%. What? <laughs> or USB port. 100%. <laughs> but by all, you know, those times when you only want half power and you're like, I don't really want all that power. I'm just gonna, you know, I don't want to be off. You know what I mean? Overpowered. I just, it's too much. It's too much to be overpowered all the time. I really hate writing reviews, but this product was so awful. I felt obligated to help mankind. <laughs> Takes forever to, to solar charge. Took mine about seven hours to get to 50%. <laughs> seven hours? <laughs> Gotta go charge my battery pack, mom. I'm gonna sit out by the pool for seven hours. Novel idea, but with within two days, one battery level indicator stopped working, then two, then three. Now the whole thing just stopped charging. <laughs> I can see how this can be potentially useful. Say you're, you're going camping, right? Yeah. This is a great idea. If this thing char takes seven hours to charge. Camp gets over. And it takes about 10 minutes for you to use up 10% of your phone battery. You, you're, you're literally just spending seven hours to use your phone for 10 minutes. I mean, if you're lost, you better go camping instantly after you buy this because this product goes bad after three weeks. That's wasteful. Talking TP? Stop. Talking toilet paper roll holder by Spitfire Venture. Plays automatically when people pull the paper. <laughs> Record your own messages over and over. Use our library of famous movie and TV sounds. Installs in seconds. What would you have it say if it was yours? Wash your hands. Hey, wash your hands, you pervert. I think it'd say, oh no, no, don't put me on your butt, no! Please remain seated during the performance. Ugh. Whoa, somebody light a match quick. What does it say? You record what you want it to say. It is really easy. I got it to remind my teens to replace the paper when they use the last sheet. Pull, put down the lid and wash their hands. How old are your kids? They're like 17. They're like, I get it, mom. I have two porcelain teepee holders and it doesn't fit either one. The packaging states, fits all toilet paper rolls. This is BS. Keep looking. Poor quality item. It recorded the message. 
but it could not be understood. <laughs> Bought three and not one worked. Could not be understood. They're like, and plays it back. I'm like, I don't understand that, dude. My family loves this. We change the message every couple of days. Uh, sometimes funny, sometimes inspirational. If you get burnt out, you can always turn it off. If you get burnt out, if you're just like, I'm done with, I'm done with it saying these things. You, what do you go to the bathroom like two or three times a day? After the first day, I'd be like, I'm done. This is really annoying. Add to cart, let's try it. Oh, talking to people, the paper, and hear your message. Susan, will you marry me? Flush once for yes. No, did I miss that? Did it say, did it say that on the, <laughs> You can re-record as many times as you like. What if it was like, you can only re-record eight times? And you're like, what? Great for weddings? Are they seriously asking someone to propose while they're pooping? I've heard of it all now. So tell me your proposal story. I just let loose a loose deuce, and then he asked me when I was pooping the noose. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I bet that's what it sounded like, you pervert. That's so quiet. That's the best they could do. I bet that's what it sounded like, you pervert. I bet that's what it sounded like, you pervert. That's better. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna get even closer. What should I? What should I do? It. No! No! Please don't use me on your butt! No! 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 Please don't use me on your butt! No! No! <laughs> I bet that's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I say this is wasteful. Laser Stars 2014 Indoor Slideshow, or Light Show. The most amazing laser light you will see. Wow, the most amazing one I'll ever see? Wow, that is cool. It's kind of galaxy-esque, you know what I'm saying? Oh, $99? That's a pretty penny for an ugly pooch. Ugly pooch? I don't know, I was trying to use alliteration. Bring the universe into your home. Wow, you, got, you must have a big home. This is only marketed towards rich people. I don't got room for the whole universe. 2015 quieter version. <laughs> quieter version? What noise was it making? <laughs> this is an alien! Ooh! And everyone just like complained like, why are there so many aliens flying by? And they're like, oh, we'll make a quieter version. Why does your item description say 2015 and your item title says 2014? Who cares? Recently I bought the device, I believe the 2014 model and the 2015 model are identical, except they are manufactured in different years. Whoa. Hope to get one that is stable and lasts for more than one show. Hope to get, I don't understand the logic of this review. Hope to get one that is stable and lasts, so that means he's gonna buy it again? But it sucked, why would you buy it again? I'm just gonna keep buying it and hope it's a different product this time. <laughs> it works okay, not as dazzling as all the reviews say it is. So that's wasteful, I'm gonna pass. Guys, do you like to hear me rant in these videos? Do you wanna hear me rant more? Cause I rant on Instagram sometimes. Actually, it's just more fun stuff. So make sure you go follow my Instagram because I'm putting stories up, yo. Link down in the description below. Also, here's my username. <laughs> remote controlled King Cobra. What is this thing? The remote. Oh, I thought it was just like a dookie. This slithery segmented super speedy King Cobra is a king of an adventure. <laughs> king of adventure, no way, no kidding, huh? Use a two button remote, two button to make it turn left or right. What about straight? It slithers, bro, it doesn't go straight. <laughs> Fine, okay, there it is. Remote control, okay, 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 I can see this. I can see this being fun. I wish it wasn't segmented. I wish they could put like little cloth at least over the entire thing to make it at least looks somewhat real. This is gonna fool no one. What age group? <laughs> My nephew is seven and he loves it. What I... age group? What age group is allowed to use this? If you're over 15, forget about it, huh? This toy is great. My seven-year-old absolutely loves it. It's easy to control and holds up against a toddler chasing it and pulling on it. Fragile, took a while to work. Tail, falls off. Well, let's see if it's actually fragile. Add to cart. Wowzers! Ew, looks like a long dookie. <laughs> oh, this is the remote. Yeah, that's what I said, that's the remote. No, no, I thought this was like a door. This is actually the buttons right oh. here. I thought it was like a little door that was gonna open up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So loud though. Let's go test it not outside 
When I say outside, I mean outside of my office. I don't actually mean outside, okay? <laughs> Everyone trips out when I say that. Well, actually, that's kind of creepy, bro. Oh, yeah. That's kind of creepy. When you just want to go in a circle, though, it doesn't do much. But you you can go relatively straight. What? You I never hurt? seen a snake do that. <laughs> Look at that snake go. It's doing barrel rolls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. He lives. Oh, <laughs> you did it, Snakey! Ser Juan Epic Ultra Portable Full Size Virtual Keyboard. I mean, what is this? It's just—it's like a laser keyboard. What, what is this gimmicky? Is that it? What's the benefit of this? Ultra portable. Ultra portable. Is that it? Is that the advantage? They have keyboards that are smaller than that that you can just use with one hand like this, right? This is silliness. This is just silliness, that's what it is. Does it work on glass? Yes, but it can be iffy. <laughs> so why would you wanna even try it on glass? It's just gonna project straight through it. How could you even see it on the glass? Barely works, waste of money. Do not buy this product, buy a Bluetooth real keyboard. <laughs> a good idea, but the technology needs to be further developed. You cannot type as fast at all using it, and it doesn't work on any surfaces. Just, you're never gonna be able to you know because you have to look at the keyboard the whole beauty of an actual keyboard is that you can feel the letters so you can keep looking at the screen that's the whole purpose i know everyone's all like shook now because they're like what about phones but the phone screen is right that's like putting your actual screen right there then yeah then you can type on it pros looks cool <laughs> Cons, inaccurate, can't touch type, slow response, mouse feature is not accurate, certain services is not supported, mishit keys, novelty item at best. The Celion keyboard did not work at all. I would like to return it to receive my money back. Very disappointed. <laughs> Just asking to, to return it in the review. Please that seller. Works. Yeah, is this how it works? I'm gonna pass, that's a hard pass, wasteful. No, stop, not another quirky product, bro. I'm shook. Nasty! This is a really fantastic idea though. And yeah, no, that's not my issue. My issue is not with their ideas. I'm just gonna like go out just blasting this company like crazy in this video, but that's not my issue, okay? They have fantastic ideas. I think the way their company works is that they take other people's ideas in like a forum and then they make the product. It says inventor Jason Hunter. This guy's all right. I got no problem with this guy right here, right? <laughs> I have a problem with these guys up here. Okay, because they didn't make it right. They just tried to steal this guy's idea. I mean, he probably licensed it to them. They, they didn't steal the idea, but they just did it poorly. I'd be pissed. Here's the idea of this. You run out of eggs. If you eat a lot of eggs, you're out and about. It's like, bing, hey, yo, you only got two eggs left. You might want to buy some or when you're out. It syncs with your smartphone to tell you how many eggs you've got at home, up to 14, and when they're going bad. Eerielessly connects. Ooh, that's eerie. It's connecting with my iPhone and it's eerie. You mean wirelessly quirky? Not a bad price. 12 bucks, not bad. That's almost the same price as like a non-smart one. For 12 bucks, Amanda has these like ceramic nice looking ones. Can this product be used in an incubator? <laughs> like to count my chickens before they hatch? <laughs> Was this product designed just to drive sufferers of OCD insane? Holds 14 eggs and yet eggs are sold by the dozen. <laughs> My eyes, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's fantastic. It is not true that this is a worthless product. Yes, it does not work as it's supposed to. I, like others, tried countless times to make it work following the directions exactly, including resetting it many times. Yes, it is going in the trash, but before you throw it away, take out the batteries. They're ultimate lithium <laughs> AA batteries worth at least a few dollars. That is a great point. Thank you. That is a great point. It still at least comes with batteries. Let's try it. Let's just, again, let's let's give you another chance, Quirky. Let's give you one more chance. Add to cart. And just so you know, I didn't open this beforehand. All the safety stickers have been ripped already. And look how beat what up the, packages. What the heck? Are they for real right now? I don't know if I want to open it then. Because eggs could have already touched it. And that's where salmonella is on the outside of the egg. Mm -hmm. This guy right here, he's all right. Raphael Wang, you're all right, dude. Okay, you're all right. Why, why is the package so beat up? Looks okay. Here it is. 
This is it. What is that? What is that right there? You can't see it in the light. Good. Oh! oh. Ah. Throw it away! Throw it away! <laughs> Throw it away! <laughs> Throw it away! <laughs> it's ah. old egg residue. <laughs> Where's the Lysol wipes? <laughs> ah, run! Run! <laughs> a little message to Quirky here. When someone returns a product that because it doesn't work, you don't repackage it and then ship it to the next person. <laughs> this is how you destroy your own business. <laughs> Wasteful. Power LED mobile theater video glasses, 52 inch virtual screen. How do they measure a virtual screen? Oh, my virtual screen's a million inches, baby. That's how you get ladies into your house. Hey, you wanna come home? You wanna come to my place? Oh. oh. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna come to my place and watch a, a movie on my virtual screen? She's like, how big is that? <laughs> and he's like, eh, it's a million inches. <laughs> this product is a portable DVD players and MP4 players are out. <laughs> <laughs> no way, this product is a portable DVD players and MP4 players are out. What does that sentence mean? I don't see where a DVD would fit, do you? That's their own product description. Oh, does it eeriously connect? If you are looking for the ultimate media player, then you have definitely found the right product. If you're looking for the ultimate media player, then you have definitely found the right product. You're doing it. Will this work with Netflix? Dear Caden, glad to receive your email. Nice day. Yes, of course. Spend a few more dollars and get something that'll work better. If your video isn't formatted exactly in the correct format and no higher than 320, you'll have to reformat and reduce it before it'll, oh my gosh, so here's what they're saying. Here's what they're saying. You have to, this is how you watch stuff on this device. You have to take your movie, somehow download it, then compress it and render it out into a format specific for this in that specific 320 resolution, then put it on the SD card, then put it in your your glasses, and then hopefully you can watch it. I just not watch it. I just not watch anything. I just look at a wall. Waste of money, bad vision. Okay, we'll take your word for it. Wasteful. Cozy product, CF, cozy feet, AA battery powered reusable shoe inserts. So this is that if you have like really bad circulation maybe? That's a little worrisome, wouldn't you think? These things have, have not these this specific product, but things like heated blankets, you're not supposed to go to sleep with them because there's potential where it catches fire or burns. Here's the issue. If you're using these for a cold climate, you probably have pretty big shoes that you lace up to keep all that coldness out and keep the heat in. So if this starts burning your foot, you're gonna be like, hold up, I'm gonna get to you, I'm gonna get to you. Just unlacing, like getting it all done, and just like. Foot's melted by that. Yeah, your foot's burned. Cozy feet, okay. I mean, all these people, how do I know these people are using it? Oh, I mean, I trust them. You trust them? Safe, shockproof, water resistant, heated insoles. I mean, it's not a bad idea, it's just strange. But like you said, if it short circuits and starts burning your foot. Yeah, because you're stepping on it. This is the only item I ordered from Amazon that has disappointed me. I work outside in all types of weather and these are a big disappointment. They do not get hot like the manufacturer stated. My son who works outside at UPS unloading planes tried them and felt nothing but frozen feet in sub-zero winds. Maybe you should buy some better shoes then. For, for the price, I didn't expect much. Unfortunately, I received less than that. <laughs> I tried these with multiple sets of batteries and they only emit a tiny amount of heat. I cannot see how they would be helpful. Better than socks. <laughs> better than socks. Well, I'm just curious enough to Add to cart. Cozy feet, warm your cold feet, goes anywhere you do. What the heck am I supposed to do with these things though? I'm gonna get all wired up and stuff and just put on another sock and be more comfortable too. Okay, we've installed batteries in this and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, this peels off and can be stuck onto things. Oh, there it is, the on button. Let's turn it on, boom. That's a lot of cableage. Oh, put it in your pocket, it can go all the way up, up your pants. <laughs> That'd be so uncomfortable. This thing is just in your pant leg somewhere. It's getting warmer, but barely. How do you know when the company's just like, hey, they're gonna put their foot on it, so it's naturally gonna heat it. So they're gonna think their foot heat is the heat from this, but it's actually their foot heat. That's like nothing. Cooler than my natural body temperature. Go for a walk and your feet will heat up just as much. Yeah, way more. 
It's a little warmer now. It's getting a little warmer. Still not enough though. And this, this right here would drive me mad. Wouldn't it drive you mad yeah. if that was in your foot? You remember the shoelace when you put your foot in, your shoelace Yeah, like your shoelace. Yeah, they would feel like a perpetual shoelace in your shoe. And you'd just be like getting triggered all day and like everyone's like, what's the matter with John over there? Oh, he's got a shoelace in his shoe and he can't get it out. Guys, make sure you check out this 10 strange products at Toys R Us because... That thumbnail right there, the goo in it. And I don't want to give anything away, but it was super creepy. Also click up there to subscribe because we make videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Goodbye now.